Hey, 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 this is Sarah. I am back for the next edition of Sip and Say. Before I get started, um, I want to extend to everyone my prayers, uh, my well wishes, um, and my advice on being um, staying socially uh, distant, um, but staying emotionally connected um, in any way that you can. On um, yesterday, I had a really rough day. Past couple of days have been rough. I spiked a temperature of 100.2. Um, I live alone. That made me nervous. I kept thinking, like, what if I die in the house by myself? Like, you know, I don't want to be the person that they find, like, along with the old cat food, you know, dead and alone in my house. Um, but yeah, I, was, I was being melodramatic, uh, but it did frighten me. So I was able to reach out to my healthcare provider at Loyola. Yay, Loyola. The nurse spoke with me over the phone, um, ran some things by the doctor. I could tell from um, my own expertise with being uh, Dr. Google, I'm my own primary care physician. I didn't think it was COVID, but I knew that I shouldn't have been spiking the temperature. So um, I did what they said, lots of liquids. I took Tylenol, not a leave, Tylenol. And it seemed to have helped me um, a great deal. My temperature is down. So since my temperature uh, came down, uh, early this morning, I had to get myself together, girl, because though I'm in this house, I can't be looking like a house mess, okay? All right, all right. So getting right into it. So I have a ton of inbox questions and a ton of texts that I've been remiss um, responding to, so I'm going to jump into it now. One, um, one of my young, I'm going to call her my niece in love, uh, was sharing with me that she has a new relationship. I'm reading my notes, and she's so glad that... Um, he doesn't have a good relationship with his mom because she figures in she doesn't have to deal with these mommy issues. No, no, boop, boop, no, boo. Don't mess with that man if he doesn't get along with his mama. Men that have bad relationships with their mother, they have a lifetime of ammunition to inflict unspeakable pain onto you. Hashtag run. Don't mess with him, boo. If he has some unresolved issues with his mom. Now, if his mom was just like out there, bad, drug addict, did it, abusive, got you. He has a right to be in pain. But you have some men that they grew up with resentment or whatever. They got issues with their mama. And if they got issues with their mama and they have not received counseling, they have not come to terms with it, they have not reconciled, they ain't prayed about it, Jesus ain't delivered them, baby, he's going to be bells above in your life. Run. Don't do it. He's going to mistreat you, baby. He's going to mistreat you. Remember your auntie told you this. He's going to mistreat you. Hashtag, he's going to mistreat you. Run, 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 run. Okay? Run. Next. This is one of my favorite. Number two, men that feel put upon. You know, ladies, the one, it's always worse off for them. They had it harder than anybody. Everybody else on the job working the same job they work and getting the same check they get. Because mind you, they ain't doing it for free. It's so much harder on them. Their life was so much harder because they had to take care of us. A, a, uh, I don't know, a parent or a sibling. We've all been there. But for them, it's so much harder than it is for the rest of the world. I'm not saying that these things are not real things. I'm not saying that brothers don't have a right to get tired. We all do. Women, we get tired too. But God, dog, everything ain't that much harder for you. And if it is, ladies, run. Because he's going to look to even the score with you. He's going to shave years off your life and your face trying to make you make up for how the whole world has did him so bad. Baby, don't do it. Run. Hashtag looking to even the score. Run. So, number one, let's run. Number two, looking to even the score. Do the same thing. Revert to, go, go back to question number one. Run. Now, my third and last, because I'm well over my time, men that don't finish anything. You know, went to 18 different schools, ain't got no degree, started three businesses, but still work for the man. The man got them down. Quit everything. They are not number one in because they can't stand to be in the shadows. They don't like the way the sun feels when they're in the shadows. If they're not number one, they can't do it. Baby, that includes you. If you outshine him, honey, he is going to sniff out your light. Run. So... That hashtag wasn't run. What was it? Let me scroll up and see what I had over there. Oh, he's going to end up causing you heartache because guess what? You're just not going to give him enough room to let him shine, okay? So you're going to have to walk away from that. Well, I'm well over my time. I apologize for being over. I miss talking to you guys. I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. And until we speak next, love on somebody. Bye-bye.